All right, Halos, welcome back. How is everyone doing? We are back in a uh, little bit more of Final Fantasy 16 today. Uh, I just completed the first recording. Uh, the game just finally released um, today as of this recording, um, the time that I'm recording it, I mean. But yeah, let's jump straight back into it. Uh, we got a little bit of stuff uh, found out in the previous part as well. But yeah, definitely go watch that if you haven't, but we're going to get straight back into it. Um, I up, I was in the menus, and I clicked on Journal, and then it opened this little uh, notification or whatever you want to call it. Um, main Menu Journal. The Journal tab contains information on main story progress, as well as all current and completed side, side quests. Oh, okay, so yeah. This is all that. Main scenario, there's completed quests. Uh, okay, cool. We've already checked out the map, we have our items here as well, and then attributes is all this stuff as well. We should be all good with that. Uh, I did want to actually go ahead and swap out my sword for something else. Um, just kind of kind of look at the different ones and see how they feel. Um, but yeah, let's, let's jump into it. Look at this bad boy, pretty nice. Um, yeah, so there's the main thing that we can do uh, over here, the hide hideaway go to speak with Sid in these chambers, but I kind of want to check out the area first uh, and then see if there's any like side quests or anything as well, so. Uh, yeah, let's check out what we got around here. Aha, hello, uh. Surly Smith. Yeah. Oh, that's it, okay. Never mind. Wait, what if I talk to him again? Uh. Same thing, okay. Yeah. Um, this kind of gives me that like main area oh can't jump in there can we uh kind of like gives me that main area of uh, dead souls 3 vibe kind of like your your hub or whatever not dead souls dark souls uh, another newcomer it's a jailer you mind the rules around here or our next chat will be through the bars <laughs> okay um all right interesting what else do we have already checked out that direction well, some flows all mended then It'll hold for now. All right. Uh, can't quite go in there yet. What else do we have around here? Sid Honest. once told me the blight doesn't kill the land. It only makes her forget who she once was. She'll eventually remember her purpose. All she needs is a little reminding. Hmm, interesting. I'm assuming you say the same thing. Sid. Once yeah, told me, you sure do. The blight doesn't kill the land. That's fine. Um, your brand, Lady Tyre, might be able to see to that. You may have been born a slave, but you're a free man now. Sweet, Lady. What did you say, Lady Tyre? Leave me be. Not until you've had your medicine. These apples are all foul. Would you rather you went without? <laughs> okay. Uh, anyways. I suppose I'll be needing a new sword. Then you'll need to speak with Blackthorn. Uh, let's see. We can go up here, I'm assuming. Yep. But uh, we can't really check out anything so else. So I think we're good. Actually, let's we'll check out this real fast. Be surprised if he wasn't. The smell of war is thick about him. Nice little cozy place. With old August before scampering back to his solar, but no. Lonely are we, August? <laughs> uh, Spoony Bart. Lightning struck his yoke did break his life his own again. With thunder's roll he knew his fate and would fight it to the end. Well. What do you think? Oh. I woke this morn inspired. <laughs> uh, I don't know, but I probably can't respond to you, to be honest. Let me really fast uh, double check if there's like a zoom button. Or like, or like, yeah, I don't know. Kind of zoom. Doesn't look like it. <clears throat> Obviously, we can go to like photo mode, maybe zoom that way, but yeah, we're good. <clears throat> um, yeah, this seems to be where Careful it wants you. us to go. I've spent the whole morning on these steps. My bad, my bad. Uh, before I go in there, I want to check out this way. Because <clears throat> it looks like there's two ways to to go up here. Okay, I didn't really miss anything. Just this dude. Okay. Alright, let's uh, let's go to speak with Sid in his chambers. 
We've already explored this whole area now. Let's see what he's up to. Just working on a pet project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield. A bearer of the Sambrequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines. With orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the Dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills. Conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. Not of it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why nothing? Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. The logic follows. And it's also why we need help. From Brandy to know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged? My brother was murdered. Why not do by that? a second dominant of fire. Phoenix is evil twin. Oh, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today. Because of Joshua, 13 years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. Exactly. I told you I'm not interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominant of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Best mate ready then. You'll find everything you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have fun. All right, cool. Um, let's check out this place real quick, you know. <laughs> Uh, Alright, let's talk to him real fast before it's we go. Downstairs. Try not to get lost. <laughs> I will, don't worry. Uh, anyways, <laughs> let's head out. Uh, so, yeah, we have a. Just visit the main hall. Okay, that's pretty easy to do. Let's just go straight down the steps, I think. Alright, here we go. 
you big boy. He, he's in my... Oh no. Go towards it. Perhaps you can help. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, there's old Nan's place. Oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. A blacksmith? To the forge it is then. I heard that Nan oh, can... Wait, no, hold up. You'll be needing this. Get rid of my mark. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. What is this? Wait, what did it say it was? Continual something? <clears throat> Continental rum. Oh. Okay. I gotcha. Uh, let me talk to... Does it look like this room here for another bloody crate? No, Lady Karen. I'm sorry, Lady Karen. Oh, okay. I guess we can't talk to her just yet. That's fine. Hey, buddy. Fancy a mug of Kenneth Coldest when we're done. Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? No time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sir to Lostwing and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Krieger to our holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? Alright, let's hand it over. Oh, I have to select it first. Okay. Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Oh, damn you, Goots. All right, all right. No Goots. need to be hasty. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> I doubt that lot could stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than then kid it out properly. I'll do what I can, as a favor to Goot's mind. Uh, Alright, forging. The crafting of new gear as well as the upgrading of existing gear can be done at a blacksmith as long as you have the recipe and the proper materials. Select a highlighted item from the list and hold F to craft or upgrade. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll do an iron belt then, shall we? Select... Oh, hold F, okay. <clears throat> Equip the newly crafted item. Uh, yes, let's do it. And the belt sees a square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. All right. Uh, a word of advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. Notices. When something has changed in the hideaway, a notice will appear in the upper right corner of right hand corner of the screen in addition to stock updates for Karen I think Karen's toll and new forging recipes for the black hammer there are also notices for new quests new missives and many other things a that icon will appear will also appear in game as well as on the local map to indicate recent updates okay I suppose I think goods yeah for sure um <clears throat> fancy a mug of Kenneth coldest when we're done you already said that. <laughs> uh, let me talk to him real fast again. Make it quick. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do? Uh, ask about Blackthorn. Well, I ain't the cook, am I? Oh, do I have to read the rest? Uh, though if you've tasted Kenneth Brown, I might as well be. No. Sid needed a smith, and I needed a smith. You call it a marriage of, incon er, of convenience. Uh, doesn't hurt that the forge here is the hottest this side of hell, or that it works without magic. I won't have no bearer suffering for me. You got anything needs repairing? Or retooling. You bring it here, along with your own materials, and any scraps left over, I keep. Interesting. Uh, use the forge. Sorry, would it be? Um, I don't really want to make that, plus we don't have the materials for it. Uh, we could make iron bracers. That would increase my stuff pretty well, actually. It would cost a frozen tier and wear it. Um, should we do it? We also have reinforce. 
that's interesting. Iron belt we can reinforce with meteorite. It doesn't really increase our stuff by much though. I feel like it's not really worth it. Yeah, I think we'll we'll probably just wait on that stuff for now. Let me double check if this is worth it or not. I don't think so. I'm not sure, but it might be. I think we'll just save our stuff for now. Seeing as you're new, let me share a word of warning. Keep your hands out of the stores, or I'll cut them off and crate them with the others. <laughs> I'm only teasing. We feed the hands to the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, you don't have anything new to say now, I don't think. Maybe. Uh, let's check out... What's her face? Nan. You take it back. Oh, just kidding. Tell that blockhead I'm not paying for stuff I didn't ask for. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Speak with Gets. See, that's the that's the way I've I've heard that name before, but I don't know. Maybe it's different. There's nothing new here, is there? Tool. Alright, let's uh let's head back to Getz. The gift worked. You have my thanks. I uh, uh, <laughs> Come on, nearly there. Blankets, quick as you like. Curmudgeon. <laughs> right, we make them comfortable while a bed's made up. Well, you're just gonna stand there, someone face some water. I'll get the bucket. You go and see if I don't need out, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, me? <sighs> <laughs> Alrighty then. What the hell have I got myself into? Good question. Speak with the man tending to the bears. Alright. <sighs> They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? Ah. Shit, at this rate, you won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need Taya. Uh -huh. Well, go on. Shift your ass. Back up to the infirmary. Now it's probably on the Taya the one looking after Jill? Yes, she was. Uh, yep, there we go. I said it inaccessible, so now I guess we can access it. Probably access it. I believe it's up here. Aha! Uh -huh. Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions when she's recovered. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? I did say so. <laughs> He's going to be all right. But I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. My work's just begun. Alrighty then. Another fine day at the hideaway. Do many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state? It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, 
I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Right. Oh, and thanks. Be seeing you. Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today, and we won't forget it. Alrighty then. Side quests unlocked. Let's go. <laughs> uh, Alright, quests. Keep an eye out for the green exclamation mark icon above the heads of certain NPCs. They indicate they have a quest to offer. A list, of a list of current and completed quests can be viewed on the journal tab in the main menu. <clears throat> to do your list. To do list. After accepting a quest, quests objectives appear in the to do list location on the right side of the screen. Objectives for the main scenario and up to three side quests can be displayed simultaneously. Uh, quest priority. Any quest can be prioritized on the journal tab in the main menu by highlighting it and pressing F. Uh, objectives for prior prioritized quests will remain displayed in the to-do list until the quest is completed or another quest is given priority. Priority status for a quest can be removed by highlighting it and pressing F again. Okay, got it. Uh, new hideaway features. The following hideaway facility facilities are now also now available. The Thousand Tomes, an ever-growing compendium of all things Valisthea. The Orchestrion, a personal jukebox for songs collected throughout the game. Um, both are located in the hideaways eatery, the Fat Chocobo, and can be found on the local map opened by pressing M. Who are these people? Alrighty then. Anyone have... Some some quests for me. Aha! There we go. Hello, sir. Um. Okay. Uh. Let's let's pretty much just get grab all the side quests. Curse break. Another one of Sid's strays. What? We all are. Little ones, big ones, and everything in between. We're a damn sight better off here than out there in the world. All right. Um. Let's grab this quest. I think. Oh, this whole place is falling apart. Damn it. We'll be needing more wood. But if I step away to fetch any, this lot will be down around our ears. Ah, you there. Perfect timing. Couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. Make do and mend. I'd be happy to. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. You'll be helping me and the hideaway both. It takes a lot of work to keep this place standing. <laughs> More than we can manage, if I'm honest. It certainly looks like you've got your hands full. Ah, uh, you can say that again. The Fallen knew their craft, make no mistake, but not even their handiwork lasts forever. That's why the walls need shoring up. Can't have the uh, vegetable patch crushed before our first harvest now, can we? Definitely not. No, I suppose not. All right, where can I find this wood? Ask over at the White Ants. They'll point you in the right direction. Thanks again. I really appreciate the help. Quest accepted. Accepted. Make do and mend. I'll prioritize it. Why not? Uh, speak with a carpenter at the White Ants. Okay. Certainly. Uh, you know what, let's just go ahead and do it first and then we'll grab the other quests instead of grabbing all the quests first and then doing it. Sounds like a plan. Excuse me. The man working over by the garden sent me to fetch some wood. Ah, that'll be Jeffrey, Master Carpenter. Luck would have it, we've just finished cutting the timber he's after. You take as much as you need from the stack. Thank you. Appreciate it. No, not at all. We appreciate the assistance. Awesome. Very nice of you. All right, let's grab it. Uh, F to take place. Here we are. I'd better get this to. Uh, all right, quick complete. After completing the main objective of some quests, you may be given the options to quick complete 
to quick travel to the quests, uh, final destination. If you see a prompt in the lower right hand corner of the screen, hold down B to immediately travel, immediately travel to the NPC eagerly awaiting your return. Of course, this option is not mandatory and you are free to ignore it. It can also be completely disabled via game settings on the system tab in the main menu. That's pretty nice, actually. Jeffrey, I like that. Um, yeah, I'll save a little bit of time. Let's travel to him. <clears throat> It does put you in a loading screen, so maybe not like really short distances we should, but cool. Oh, you're back. Hope fetching that wood wasn't too fast. much trouble. No, not at all. Let's give you those wood planks. Will this be enough? Why are you looking so angry, Clive? This will do nicely, <laughs> thank you. With a bit of luck, the walls won't be falling in on us just yet. That sounds <laughs> ominous. <laughs> oh, it's not as bad as all that. And it's a damn sight better than the alternative. We're safe, we're warm, and we're hidden. What more could we ask for? Now stop fretting and take this. You've earned it. Welcome to the fold. There's no need to... That's not a matter of need, my friend. You're one of us now. Sweet, quest complete. What did we get? A little bit of XP, a little bit of... I forgot what that is. Can't scroll over it. Uh, meteorite, nice. Season crafting and gill bug. Uh, valuable can be traded for gill. Nice. Interesting, interesting. All right, sweet. Uh, this should talk be enough to anymore? shore things up for a little while yet. Thanks again. No problem, bro. Botanist. Should we talk Sid, to him? Sid, once told me... The blight doesn't kill the land, it only makes her forget. I think we already talked to him about that, but anyways. Let's grab this other uh, side quest. Oh, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Yeah, I sure did. Alright. I heard they escaped their masters in the Imperial Crown. Right over here. I'm gonna get all the side quests that I can, honestly. We should go and help. Don't Sounds think good. I haven't Ooh, noticed you stealing sips from that That's all it is. Hold up, who this? Wisent man. Yours is not a familiar face. Are you new to the hideaway, perchance? You could say that. Sure am. Well then, allow me to welcome you. I am Harpocrates the Second Hyperboreus. That's uh <laughs> quite a mouthful, I know. Which is why everyone here has taken to calling me simply Tomes. On account of the uh, company I keep. And what varied company? I'm a collector, you see. Not of bijou and baubles, but of stories. The history and culture of these isles have ever been a source of endless fascination to me. But alas, my days of wandering the realm in search of new tales are far behind me. And so I've taken to sharing that which I've gathered with all who might listen. Perhaps you would care to listen. Perhaps. For the right print, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, what is... Actually, let's ask about it first. Ask about Harpocrates. When I was very young... And lived beyond these shores, my father would read to me every night from the only book we had, A History of Valisthea by Moss the Chronicler. So enchanted was I by this realm of myth and magic that when I was of age, I enlisted as a deckhand on a merchant galley that I might see it with my own, my own eyes. Yet... When Yet I when arrived, arrived, what I found was a land of war and suffering, darkened by the blight and the evil in men's hearts. Still, I was uh, determined to follow in the footsteps of Moss and record what I could, and so I did, in all manner of places and all manner of roles, until my aging le legs could carry me no longer. Fortunately, Sid sat, found me by the roadside, so to speak, and offered me a place here, where I might continue my studies, albeit without the wandering. Let's view the Thousand Tomes, whatever that means. I have compiled some new entries, if you would like to see them. Uh, the Thousand Tomes. The Thousand Tomes is a comprehensive compendium of Valistean lore, covering everything from basic terms to important persons, geography, and history. New information is constantly added as Clive progresses through the story. Past active time lore entries can also be viewed here. Ah, okay. So it's pretty much just lore. I don't you wanna... believe you've read this particular chapter before. Go into it. The tomes. Hmm. What subject shall we consider today? Uh, none of them. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, F to confirm. What does that mean?
F to confirm. Oh, I guess we can just go through a bunch of different stuff. I see. Okay. Um, feel free to, by the way, just like pause it to read all of this stuff. Um, I'm not gonna do it just so that I don't take like forever. Oh, Steam is offline. What the heck? Why is it offline? Should not be offline. There's no reason for it to be offline. But okay. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> yeah. If uh, interesting. Okay, first encounter after the fall of Fiends Gate after the, at the Battle of Nice Nisa. So yeah, there's there's different stuff for all of them, and obviously pause to read if you want to read any of this stuff. Definitely. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to take like a long time to go ahead and read all of this stuff or not. That'll take a lot of extra time that I don't have, unfortunately. But feel free to pause, like I said, to read any of this if you want. It's definitely not a bad idea. R.I.P. Murdoch, what a legend. Uh, let's see, these guys, these guys, that should be most of them. Oh, no, there's a few more things. I am going to at least show you guys some of this stuff so you can read it if you want. Once again, just pause to read. Some of this we've already checked out previously, but yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. I'm kind of trying to get rid of all the notifications, but it's going to take a long time. Either way, um, that's going to be, I'm just going to go ahead and exit out. The so doors of the shelves shall ever be open. <laughs> you guys have have read plenty for now, I think. We can read Don't more later if we need to. I haven't noticed you stealing sips from that pot. Uh, Kenneth Kitchenhead. Ah, a new face. And, dare I hope, a willing pair of hands. The fat chocobo is a demanding mistress, and we are too few to keep her on her feet. Might I persuade you to deliver a meal or two to souls in need of sustenance? For your trouble, I can offer you the contents of my strong box and my enduring gratitude. Ooh, yes please. Uh, food for thought. Help keep the fat chocobo running. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. It's a good store, uh, Marvelous. shop name. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these if you would, and be careful, they're hot. Alright, quest accepted. We're going to go ahead and prioritize the quest as well. And before I finish this quest... Oh, meal. How long has it been? Uh, before I finish this quest, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I meant to, uh, I meant to end it here. I meant to go, but yeah, thank you guys for watching once again, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.